Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. As many of you know, um, I recently joined the Glitter Girls and it's a collaboration group and monthly we pick a theme to follow and we come up with cute nail designs. We post them on Instagram and on our YouTube channels and we share ideas with each other and we do birthday um, collaborations and celebrate the members birthdays in the month. Um, a bunch of fun stuff. So one of the members, Pumpkin's Nail Station, came up with a really, really fun idea. Um, she basically paired us up with people in our country, members in our country, um, U.S. with U.S., Canada with Canada, international, um, and so forth. And basically what we were tasked to do was to send um, enough nail art goodies to make a full set of nails. Um, each member was to provide their own base nail, whether it's um, nail tips or um, poly gel, or whatever you have, um, gel polish. And we sent them art supplies that we are challenging them to come up with really cute designs for their nails. So I sent some goodies to uh, one of the members and I got in turn um, some goodies from another member. So uh, apparently we're not swapping with the person we sent to. So this is going to be a lot of fun because I'm tasked with trying to figure out who I sent me these goodies. The girls. Well, um, so this is the envelope that I received um, my goodies in and um, says Glitter Girls Swap. I've hidden the address for obvious reasons um, because I, you know, even if it was revealed, I still have no clue where anybody is really from. I just know um, certain people are in the United States and um, others are in the UK and Canada and such like that, but I don't know individual locations yet. So this is really gonna be a surprise. First off, this is a really, really cute card. I really like this. It's got the bald eagle, American flag. It's all American. Go USA. <laughs> so let's see what's inside. Ooh, I already see some fun stuff. Well, let's read the card. It says, hello, darling. Ah, oh, curious. Very curious. Hello, darling. I hope you enjoy the little bits I've sent. I can't wait to see how you incorporate everything together. Love your nail sister. Very sweet. Very sweet. I'm sure that I'm going to have to watch a bunch of videos and try to figure out who, who use, who's used to saying darling. Hello darling. <laughs> That's really cute. So let's see. Okay, I've got some. Oh, wait, hold on. There's something stuck to the card. All right, so, oh my goodness, okay. These are the little beads. I've used these in a set of nails. Um, in one of my videos, you'll see me use these little micro beads. You basically, you can put them into glitter. Um, you can put them into gel polish. You can put them um, stuff onto acrylic. You can encapsulate them. You can do a bunch of stuff with them. So she's given me two different little pouches, um, white or clear, the yeah, other clear, and some, they look, they look black. It might actually be a little dark brown. No, they're, yeah, they're black. And then this looks to be some rhinestones and studs and tidbits. Oh, look, there's some opals in there. That's really pretty. It's a cute little mix. Hmm. Very nice, very nice. And then this is what caught my eye at first. I got a stamping plate. Let me see. And this decals, hmm. I'm not used to using decals, so this is taking me a little bit out of my comfort zone. Hmm. I'm going to figure out how to use these. The instructions on the back You'll probably tell me exactly how to use that. I'm sure I can come up with something creative to do with these. Absolutely, because I want to use everything that she sent. So let's see. This is Born Pretty Plate. It's BPXL015. I think I have um, 
one or two born pretty plates. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Look at how adorable, you guys. Oh, come on, light. There we go. Look at how adorable. It's a bunch of pandas. <gasps> Striped pajama panda, bikini panda, this little this round, little round butter panda. Butter how panda. cute is that? Oh my gosh, they're all so cute. Look at that. Oh, friends. Little friends. I think this one's on bamboo, it looks like. And a mama and a baby. And a bunch of little tiny pandas. Oh, look at the eyes on that one. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. Thank you so much, Nail Sister. I love stamping. I love stamping, and I think I can come up with something really cute. With all of these goodies, hmm, my wheels are already turning. I gotta come up with a good color palette to use. I gotta come up with some ideas. I have to figure out how to use these decals. I'm gonna have to watch some videos. Hmm, I wonder what I'm gonna do. I wonder if the person that I sent my goodies to it, is doing the same thing I am, trying to figure out how they're going to incorporate everything. Well, darling, <laughs> thank you so much, Nail Sister. I really, really appreciate this. And let me see what I can come up with. I hope I make you proud. I'll see you in a bit. When I come back, it may not be the same day. <laughs> this might take me a bit to, to figure out, but... I'll come back with these goodies and show you how I use them in, in a set of nails. Until then, stick around. Okay, so I'm back and it took me a couple of hours actually, but I decided on this color palette, the teal and uh, kind of like a corn yellow. I used Madame Glam's Honeymoon in Paris and winter jasmine honeymoon in paris is the teal winter jasmine is the yellow these are one step gels you don't need a base coat you don't need a top coat they cure with a no no uh, wipe surface which is great for stamping i've given them one uh, coat already i'm going to go ahead and apply the second coat on camera so you can see how smoothly they polish. These are a lot smaller than the mini bottles that um, Madame, I mean, than the regular bottles that Madame Glam usually sells. These are smaller bottles. They are 10 mil as opposed to 15 mil for Madame Glam's uh, normal sized bottles. So I decided to alternate the nails and put the green or the teal or what are they calling it? Honeymoon in Paris color on the thumb and the ring finger. Look how pretty that is, how smoothly it applies. And I also decided to put winter jasmine on the pointer and the pinky. Look at that. Look at what a pretty color. I have a whole bunch of colors, but I've been using a lot of pink and purples lately. Um, with birthday collabs and um, Valentine's Day. And so I decided to use these colors. Look how pretty that is. The second coat does it. Probably could get one coat coverage, but the second coat actually just seals it in really pretty. I've got a little nub on the end of this one. I guess I put too much polish the first time around, so I'm going to go in reverse and even that out. There we go. Get that section there. Beautiful. And these again will cure with a no wipe um, surface. On the middle nail, I'm going to use both. And I'm going to use a, 
technique similar to the swirling technique that I've shown in other videos. So first I'm going to put the lighter color on first. Basically I'm going to just polish it down half the nail. I've got to be generous with it. I just don't want to put it so thick that it wrinkles because of the pigmentation. I don't think it will. I think it's fine. So put this on nice and liberal straight down the middle. It's not exactly straight but that's okay because we want them to combine in the middle anyway. The idea that I have. And then I'm going to take the Honeymoon in Paris color, the teal. And I'm going to apply that down the other side. And i got to just be careful because some of it may get in, or some of the jasmine may get into my brush. And it did just a little, but that's okay. We'll wipe that off before I put it back in the bottle. So I just want to go like this and bring some down the nail. There we go. This looks like a nice, generous coat on both sides. Make sure there's none. Yeah, there's just a little. I'll just get that off of my brush. Put that back in. And then I'm going to grab my fidget stylus. And I'm just going to flick the polish back and forth. I'm just going to go like this, like this, and like this, and like this, and like this. Just keep doing it down the nail. And then come back up the nail. It's causing the middle of it to look wow, to, to cause these little stripes, almost tiger like. Wow, that's kind of cool. I did this on the fly. <laughs> but I had an idea that instead of doing the swirl, I did kind of like a. Let me zoom in a little better with the light. And just flick it back and forth. Kind of marry both colors. That looks really cool. So I'm going to get this in the lamp. It only takes 30 seconds for Madame Glam polish to cure. And I think I'm going to give it, even though these dry with a no wipe shiny top coat. I'm going to mat out alternating nails. So I'm going to use the velvet matte top coat. Let me make sure not to get any of this on me. I forgot to turn the light on. Oh, the magic of video. <laughs> and then I got to figure out what to do with these things. Hmm. I got an idea. I like these pandas. This one's my favorite. The one, oh, you can't see with the glare. This one's my favorite. He's hanging off the tree. And who else do I like? Oh, this one's kind of cute too. He's kind of just sitting there. He's a baby panda. So let's see. So these dried nice and smooth. That has two coats now. I think I'm going to map these two. I think I'm going to map these two. Because they're kind of like in the middle. I don't want to map this one. I'm thinking maybe putting some stones on this one. And then maybe on the lighter nail, putting the these. And on the darker nail, putting these. Hmm. Okay, let's get the matte top coat on. Hopefully this video is not too long, but then again, if you've seen my other videos, they're pretty long as well. I'll try to fast forward wherever possible, or fade in and out wherever possible. I think this might be a part to do it. I'm going to put the matte top coat on here. The other ones do not need a top coat. I think I'm going to leave them shiny. I like the contrast of the colors and I like the contrast of the uh, no white versus matte. So let's get that in the lamp and we'll be right back. 
Okay, so these are out of the lamp. And wow, look at the contrast between the shiny top coat and the matte. Look how pretty that is. That matte is spectacular. Absolutely phenomenal. All right, so the next part is the stamping. And I decided to go with, I have my stamping glove on. Decided to go with the this panda right here. Um, I think he's he's kind of big, so he's going to fit on the thumbnail really nicely. And I decided to go with the baby panda here, just the panda. And I'm going to put the baby panda on the baby nail. I hope it fits. Let's see. Let's start with the. The bigger panda. Let me zoom in a little so you can see what I'm doing. Basically, I have my clear jelly stamper um, stamping polish 001. They're black. Apply polish in one direction. Great in the opposite direction. Hold down your plate really nice. Take your stamper and roll it. And it's smudged. <laughs> I think it's because of the end of the plate. So let me go ahead and try. I need to take that off. Let me go ahead and try to do that at a different angle. I'm going to polish down and swipe up and roll to the side. Let's try that one because it's on the edge of the plate. And sometimes when they're on the edge of the plate, it's harder to, to pick up the image. Come on. Take polish. Polish down. I think I put too much polish the first time too. Scrape up. Once more for good measure. Roll. That's much better. You can see the panda. So I'm going to take, oh look at the baby one. I'm going to take off all the excess that I don't want to use. And now I've got to do reverse stamping on this. I've never done that before. Let's see how this comes out. From what I understand, you grab a little bit of stamping polish and we're going to need the white stamping polish. You grab the stamping polish and put a little dab and you take a dotting tool, I guess, or a fine line brush. I think I'm going to do a brush just because I can work with it faster. And you're supposed to polish over the image. Hope that's enough. I'm going to use a fine line brush. I'm going to use this one. I have this brush right here. It has a long enough tip to pick up polish. I think that'll work. Alright, here we go. Here goes nothing. That's it. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I didn't seem to smudge it or anything. I painted over the part where I'm supposed to put a pink tongue, but I have an idea that I'm going to try out and hopefully that'll work out. Let me wipe this off of here because this is real nail polish. It's not like gel polish. I don't want it to harden in my brush. The gel polish will stay 
liquid until I clean it off, but this will dry. So there we go. So we're going to let that sit. I'm going to get a separate stamper and we're going to clean this off and we're going to do the baby panda. I have another stamper just like this one. This one here. It's not as clear on the back, on the base, because it got messed up with acetone, so I put a, a layer of clear um, gel polish on it, but I could still use it. There's nothing wrong with the stamping head. Okay, so let's do this one. And this one's a little bit further in. I think I can get away with putting this one in, doing this one the way I usually do it. Polish, I think I put too much polish. Polish to the left, I'm going to spread that a little more. Polish to the left. Scrape to the right. Pick up your image. Yep, that worked out pretty good. Now I gotta try to get off all of this extra leaves. I don't want the leaves, I just want the little baby panda. There we go. That worked out. Take all of this off. There we go. And this one's over there drying nicely. Still shiny, so I usually can tell when it's done is when it's, it mats out a little bit. Alright, so now we're going to do the same with this one. We're going to take that stamping polish that I have here. Still hasn't dried yet. I put enough on there. And I'm going to paint in the baby panda. Let's do this. Look how cute he looks. That is adorable. Okay, I'm gonna wipe the brush off. Take off the white polish. Maybe I'll just put a little bit, pump a little bit out of my dispenser and lay the brush in there. Yeah, that worked better. There we go. Look how nice and clean that came out. Look at this cotton round. Look at all that black. Wipe off my um, palette. I dropped this into my garbage and I couldn't find it. <laughs> yeah, it's making a mess. I'll finish cleaning that up in a little bit. Off camera. So I'm going to let these dry and I'll come back when they're ready to put onto the nails. Stick around and see if I'm going to have an epic fail. With my two little cute pandas. So I'm back and the two pandas appear to have dried very nicely. So I have them set aside. Let's flip them around. And um, I think I'm going to try the big one first. I think it would be easier because of the fact that it's a bigger surface than I'm stamping on. We'll see how that goes. I'm going to use Clear Jelly Stamper's um, base coat. And from my understanding is you apply a base coat to the nail. Let it dry briefly because it, it dries sticky so that it pulls the image off of your stamper. Because normally they don't come off once they've dried. But by putting this base coat From my understanding, this is, let that dry a little. You know what, I'm going to go ahead and prep the other nail because it's going to have to dry anyway. So we'll get the pinky and we'll apply that on there. 
I probably could have just applied it to the little corner where the nail where the baby panda is going to go. But let me close this so it doesn't spill. Okay, let me see. I'm afraid to touch it. Oh, it's sticky. Okay, let's go for it. So I'm going to place the panda where I think it should be. I'm going to do it right in the middle. How about in the middle? Let's see. Right, right about in the middle. There goes nothing. And roll it off. Stay on the nail, stay on the nail. <gasps> it worked! Oh, I'm so excited. It worked, it worked, it worked. Yay! Yay! Cool. Let's do the baby panda on the pinky nail. Let's see. I have him sit up here. Yeah, right about there. Oh, he's so cute. Love it. Love it. I see some little patchy areas with the white. But what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take my very fine detailer brush and I'm going to go and just tap those in. And I'm going to catch the tongue because I didn't catch the tongue the first time. I actually accidentally painted it white and I should have left it so that I could uh, put in the pink. I'm going to use this very fine detailer brush. It has like three hairs on it. Very fine detailer brush and I'm going to going to catch. Actually this one came out good. It was the baby panda that has like a little spot next to his eye. Next to his eye. See if my hand could be steady enough. Yep. It's not perfect but it's my first time doing reverse stamping and I'm quite pleased. Yay! It came out so cute. Alright, let me wipe this off real quick. Put it in my acetone. Get some no wipe. I'm oh, sorry, no lint wipe. I'm gonna get another one of these. I use this so much that the the tip is starting to fray just slightly. So I'm gonna use this one as the tongue. It's a little bit of pink. So I might be better off doing that with the fidget stylus because it has practically no tip whatsoever. So let me do that. I'm going to take my fidget stylus because I can literally put a tiny little dot ever so tiny on that nail. So let me pick up the tiny thing. There you go. Ta-da! There's a little pink tongue sticking out. Now, I did catch a little bit of the line, but I don't think there's time to fix it. It might be starting to dry already. I may not mess with it. It looks cute. Yay! My first reverse stamping. I'm so excited. Okay, I think the baby has had a chance to go ahead and dry. I'm going to put um, no wipe top coat over this to protect the image and um, I'll get it in the lamp. I'll do the same for this panda. You got to be careful how hard I press because it can pull the image off. So let me start above it and just lay this down quickly. Perfect. Just enough to cover it. I can always put a second coat if I want. I've done this with stamping before, but never with reverse stamping in two colors, and I don't want it to smear. Okay, so that one's good to go. Let's get some gel polish on. Take a deep breath. Go down one side. Flip the brush. Go down the other side. And I didn't smear it. Yay! 
I'm gonna catch that a little bit. There we go. It's nice and smooth. I don't want to touch the image. I'm gonna just cure it just like that. And if I have to give it a second coat, I can. But now my image is gonna be protected. Let me get this in the lamp. I'll come back because I'm just gonna put some simple hearts on these two nails. So I'm back and I'm trying to figure out how to incorporate these decals. So I figured out that I took a piece of one of them and I think that if I sway this right across here, I think it's gonna look really cool. I've never worked with decals either, so like I said, this was a very challenging, challenging, challenging um, swap for me. I almost want to, how about this part? Let's see. Oops. This is very sticky. I'm not used to working with decals. Now let's go ahead and put this across here like this. I think that looks really cool. Maybe I should have cut it first. <laughs> Again, my inexperience with working with decals. But let me see if I can get my scissors. I have these curved scissors. They work really good. They're supposed to be for cuticles, but I don't like cutting anybody's cuticles, so... I use them for these situations. Cut that off. There you go. Oh, that looks good. Looks really good. Oops. I'll go ahead and cut this one off as well. Hmm. Put the scissors this way. And just cut across the edge of the nail. I've seen people do this. They make it look so easy. Just like probably some of the things I do, people probably say, oh, you make it look so easy. <laughs> well, I'm going to save these pieces. Waste not, want not. Put them back on the little sticky pad. That looks pretty good. I actually like that. And now I can take these. And I think uh, I'm going to put some down the front of the nail. Oh, that's going to look nice. And then I know what I'll do. I'll do the opposite with this one. So let me look for a piece. Okay, let's cut this part off. Taking this white piece. Cut that off. Let's do the same here. sorry folks this is the things that go on normally off camera but I said I wasn't going to cut the camera off on most of this so you're seeing the struggle okay there we go now it's ready so I think I'm going to have to put another no white top coat but I want to apply these two, so maybe I could just apply them straight to the nails. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Alright. 
should have another base. Yeah, I do. I'm going to take another base. I'm going to transfer the nail there so I can work in the middle. That looks really cool. Okay. Let's go ahead. We're going to put a whole top coat on this. And then, oh wait, but wait a second, I don't want to put a whole top coat because then these little things will go everywhere. Okay. So I think I'm going to put a top coat only on the part that I want those little micro beads to stick to. That's what I'm going to do. So we're going to get our no white top coat again. And I like some of this detail to show, so maybe I won't cover the whole thing. Just part of it. Otherwise, what's the point of putting on a decal? And I like that. This follows the design of the of the decal. There we go. There goes nothing. mess with it no more. Get it in the lamp. And cure it before I change my mind. Alright, let's go with the pinky nail now. Spread out my blue tack. Get the nail on there firmly. And I think for this one I'm not going to do the same. Because the pattern's kind of going the same, but I think I'm going to do it differently. I think I'm going to take, and there's a a fatter solid line on the decal that I think I'm going to take some no white top coat and just follow that line and put a nice little stripe of the beads on there. Get this into the lamp. Call it a day on that nail. So that's done. And this is how the nail with the white crystals came out. I think they both look really cute. I'm really liking this these black crystals here. The little mini beads. They seem to be falling off a little. I think I'm going to put a, 
a very light coat of no wipe top coat over them and maybe over the white ones as well I want to seal them in because I don't want them falling off I know that this is not really going to be worn by a client but I want to be able to um, at least preserve the look and I think the polish will sink down in there if I take a small detailer brush and push it down in and just put enough to coat it yeah I think that's going to work out let me make sure I don't have any on there you know all right, so then I'm going to take this brush, this brush, I'm just going to brush them lightly, and that way any of them that are loose or that are about to fall off will, won't fall off either, they'll stick back on. That actually, it sunk in pretty nice. Let's go ahead and do this one, might as well. That way you can get them in the lamp all at the same time. And while they're curing in the lamp, I'll pop the other three off and we'll just do something quick on those. I still have those, the diamond back crystals to deal with, or the, these here. These diamond back, I think I, I'm going to cluster, I can do a cluster on the center nail, that would look pretty. So there. That's going to seal those in. Let me take these three off because I can't take the two that are wet. And I'm going to put these on here. And I think I'm going to work on these. Well, I still can't get over how nice that matte top coat is. Put this in here like this. Get these in the lamp. And we shall continue with the set and let that cure on its own. Alright, the center nail, I think I'm just going to cluster some of these. So let's take and pour them out into the dish. We've got some blue opal. Oh, I almost tipped that. That's okay. I'm having fun and I really do appreciate it. I know I've gone, thank you, swap buddy, but actually I'm having fun. I love challenges. So let's see, how am I going to do this? this in the lamp. Look at how pretty that is. See? Hopefully I caught it on camera putting them on. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some hearts. I'll put some green hearts on this one and some yellow hearts on this one. And I'm going to leave it. And I like the fact that this is the one step gel because I'm going to leave them on there like that. And they're, they're going to cure with a shiny, a shiny look. So we'll go ahead and put our dollops on here. And I will take my fine detailer brush. I don't know if any of you have seen my Valentine's Day. I'm going to go ahead and put the card up in the video. Let's see, I think it comes out right about up here. I'm going to put the card on the, on the video, the link, so that you can go and watch it. I have my detailer brush, and I need my dotting tool, and that's all you need to make hearts. Let's see. First, we'll do the green one. The green nail with the yellow hearts. So, we put a dot, 
and you put a nose dot and this might run quicker than the regular gel polish. Don't touch the dots together. If you do, they become one big blob. And you don't want that just yet. And then you pull. Pull one, one side down, the other side down, until it comes to the part where you want the heart to be. Refine the sides. And I show, I show this technique in my Valentine's Day set. And then you basically just join the middle. Refine the edges a little. Bring that to a little more of a point. There you have it, a little heart. Don't worry about the opacity of opacity of it yet because you're going to do a second coat. I'm going to cure this because I don't want it spreading. I'm going to flash cure it with my flashlight. I'm covering this so my polish that I set aside doesn't uh, doesn't get any kind of light whatsoever. My brush is out of the way. About 10 seconds and it's set. And we'll do the next one. I'm going to speed this part of the video up. I'm not going to torture you with watching me do hearts. But I'm going to go ahead and get them done. We'll do a second layer and then I will finish this nail off camera to take you out of your misery. <laughs> so I'm back and this is the completed set. I finished the hearts on both of these nails. I think it looks really neat with the contrast of the matte nail with the shiny hearts and dots. I really love these cute little pandas the way they came out. And now I can add reverse stamping to my things that I know list. And decals. I never really used decals. That was kind of fun too. I had a good time with this. Thank you Pumpkins Nail Station for coordinating this. Thank you darling. I really appreciate all these goodies. I have a bunch left over. I have a brand new stamping plate now. A bunch of cute little pandas. Thank you so much. I have some black and clear pixie crystals left. And I have some diamond backed rhinestones. And I even have some of the decal strips left. Which I'll be using in, in other videos. This is great. I'm going to go make uh, attempt to make another set of these nails so that I can put them on my flexi hands and bring them back so you show them off as a full set. And then you guys can tell me what you think. Hello everyone. Um, I finally went back and I did a second set of the Secret Manny Swap nails. And they look slightly different from each other, 
but they came out really cute for the most part. They look the same. I used the same techniques, the same stamping, everything. And I decided to put them on the hands because I have both the left and the right. I have a video um, that I presented all the different silicone hands that I have. These are really pretty. I don't have an opportunity to use them that often because I'm not into the acrylic just yet. I'll be starting it up soon, but not just yet. Anyway, so I went back and I started watching some videos because it was really racking my brain who this could possibly be. Who could be my secret swap buddy? Hmm. So, after looking through a bunch of videos and after watching the Glitter Girls in Action on the different playlists, I think I figured out who it is. I believe that my secret Manny Swap uh, buddy is BRC Nails, aka Brandy. Um, because Brandy always starts her videos off nice and sweet and says, Hello, darlings. And if you'll remember on the card that I received with the goodies, inside the card it says, Hello, darling. So I believe that, that who, that's who my secret Manny Swap is. Brandy, if it's you, could you please comment below and let me know? Um, and if it's not you, I didn't mean to, um, to say it was someone else or that I was hoping it was Brandy or something. I don't, I don't know the girls well enough, but this was super fun. This was very challenging. So Brandy, if it is you, and I think, I'm, I think I got it. So, Brandy, thank you so much for sending all these goodies. The nails came out beautiful, as you can see. And I had a lot of fun doing them. So, thank you all for watching. <clears throat> Please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm hoping that we're going to do a few more of these. This was super, super fun. So, until the next video, bye!